So today I have an interesting product that's making a bunch of claims. This showed up and I was like, I gotta test that out. I just, I don't know. It's a screen protector that claims to enhance your battery life, improve your signal strength, and reduce the amount of radiation coming out of your smartphone into your face. That's a lot of claims for a screen protector. It's from Tech Armor. They've got a little image here, 15 minutes of cell phone use. This guy's half dead as you can tell, silent threat. The jury's out on this whole whole radiation situation. Their new screen protector is going to push the radiation out the back of the phone by blocking it from coming out of the front. But honestly, the thing I'm most interested in is this increase, this improved signal strength. With improved signal strength, you can also often realize better battery life as well. In fact, they're saying up to 40% longer battery life. So in this video, I'm going to take some signal strength readings on this iPhone 10 right here prior to installing the screen protector. Then I'll install the screen protector and take the readings again in order to see if it actually does improve signal strength. I think it's around 30 bucks. Maybe Willie Do can give us the big number. 30 bucks? Did I nail that? I just guessed, okay? It's 30 bucks. It does all these other things. Now you guys may remember I did a video in the past about a case enhanced the battery life. What happens is when you lift it up, and slide it, you'll notice it lines up with the antenna on the iPhone. Pretty much as expected. It feels pretty substantial, actually. It's already nerve wracking. I'm already starting to get paranoid here about installing the screen protector. Although I feel like I've gotten better at it over the years. Device cleansing wipes. All right, so there's this special mode you can go into on your iPhone. You could try this yourself. Type in star three zero zero one hash one two three four five hash star and then dial it. And it brings you into this field test mode. This gives you all kinds of information about your phone. Now, the key stuff for us is in the serving cell measurement right here. Now our signal strength lives right here, RSRP0. You can see we are at minus 108. In this case, since it's a minus figure, the lower the number, the better the signal. You can see it fluctuating a little bit. This is LTE, this is on the Rogers network. RSRP1 represents the next closest cell tower. The thing to do now is to install the enhanced tech armor screen protector and see if it can boost that up at all. Still minus 117, 115. Let me some junk down here. Nothing like a, a nice, fresh display. It actually is pretty easy to install. Part of that's because it doesn't attempt to go around the curve. All right, so the screen protector's installed now. Let's Launch back in, minus 109. Let's let it update here, give it a second. Minus 107, minus 106. All right, so we're the same benchmark right now. We're, we're where are we, minus 105, minus 107. Mm, minus 105, again, minus 107. So, I mean, very marginal. Like the other one was minus 106 and then minus 109. Okay, fine, let's try and hold it. Does it need to be touching your face or something? There's a patented layer that redirects potentially harmful radiation up, out, and away from your body to lessen exposure. This process creates a stronger usable signal from your smartphone, which can extend battery life by up to 40%. But in what circumstance, what like perfect circumstance would you need to take advantage of that? Because my signal signal strength is at minus 116 right now. And that's worse. There's obviously some issues here that may extend beyond the capabilities of this screen protector. If we don't see an improvement in signal strength, then we also can't necessarily buy the claims that we're gonna get this battery life improvement. Without the better signal strength, you're not gonna get the better battery life. And then you also gotta bring into question the whole radiation silent threat scenario. What exactly is this extra layer doing? Now, as a screen protector, it's pretty nice, easy to install, and it is is a 9H tempered glass. I'm guessing that what they did is create some perfect scenario to get their numbers in testing, but this is the real world. It, it actually appears to get worse when I'm holding it. Go and check this for yourself. Type that code into your iOS device and see what kind of reception you're working with. Look, if this screen protector is doing anything, it doesn't appear to be doing anything. I don't necessarily buy into the other claims. Your results may vary. If you had a different experience with this, I'd be interested in knowing about it. But as of right now, I'm saying it's just a screen protector. It's a half decent screen protector. I'm gonna say probably skip this one. 
based on these initial findings. If anything comes up and I notice some sort of change, I'll let you know. Okay, there you have it. I gotta, I gotta tell you the truth here, okay? I gotta give you the evidence, and, and that's what it is. Tech Armor, you wanna reach out? Send me an email and say, look, here's where it improves. You're in the park. It's a full moon, cumulus clouds, foliage. Then you see the improvement. You wanna let me know, you let me know. I'll give you a chance, okay? Okay, there it is. The truth shall set you free.